Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you this Defu key cutting machine that's for my backup cutting machine whenever something's going wrong with my automatic cutting machine. And I haven't used it for a while because um, my other cutting machine is a lot faster. But this time I'm gonna show you what do we have here cutting this laser cut, especially the Honda. Sometimes when you cut it, they go sideways. That's the problem with this, the clamp was not straight. So I have something here that an, an add-on for to prevent that. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let me show you this one here. If you go focus here, I have an adapter. This little piece here, let me go ahead and remove this. Of course, this was um, bent, see that? So I'm gonna cut it in. See this little piece this guy here? This will hold your laser cut keys it will hold a lot better more stronger and it will give you enough space to lift up because what happened is too low you're gonna end up cutting this shaving your clamp so this one is pretty good it has two kinds two different sizes this is the skinny one here, but this one is perfect for these um, 166. And the way I use it, put on top here, let's see, put on top here, set it, set it on there, and make sure it's it's level from the back from the back side, including the keys as well. So let's go ahead and set this up. So make sure the key is clean, of course. So once that is, let me put this side away so you all can see it better. Once you have this flat on the back and you have, you pressing this down, that's, flat then you can go ahead and tighten it so you're gonna do the same thing on the other side from the tracing side make sure it's leaning from the back so make sure this is flat leaning from the back same thing on the other side make sure that's leaning from the back and when you have this your tracer, probe, and your cutter, you must touch in that at the same spot. If you drop this one, it should be touching the same. If you to figure it out that they're touching the same, when you move it, it will make a groove for both sides, here and here. So you can see that one's making a groove evenly. If you didn't see that straight line there, right here, that means they're not level. So let's go ahead and try to cut this one and see what it's gonna look like when we cut it. So we got this set up pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead show you this one too. I'm gonna try it. This one is a used one. I already cut this, but I'm gonna use it too just to test practice it. So Alright, let's put it there. Once it's in place, let's go ahead and tighten it. See how that's tight? I think I move that just a little bit. Make sure that's tight and tight. And double check your work before we start cutting. So let's go ahead and cut this. Go ahead, put my 
this is my stopper I put it all the way to the top and then I'm gonna uh, put my thumb on this spacer on the bottom pushing all the way to the top flat on top the the blankie and that is flat on top we're not using this groove here I'm gonna tighten this just a little bit once you, you get you need to get used to this it's gonna be tough at the beginning but once you're used to it it'll be easy I'm gonna put my finger here to hold that and this one so it doesn't move right put your finger here or this one then pushing down this is pushing down this thumb is pushing up and middle finger is holding that stopper and the then you have to tighten it really tight make sure it's really tight before you tie it you gotta make sure the top is line then tighten it really tight but don't tighten it too much where you're gonna break this one you gotta tighten it so it won't move because there's a there's a possibility it'll move with this spinning and that happened to me and it will mess up just like this one I'm gonna show you this one so while you're cutting your key will start sliding down it's pushing down if it's not tight if you had the spacer upside down it was it will slide it you need more tightness on the bottom because from here you barely have anything holding on top you have more base to hold it so it will move and this is pretty tight i'm gonna make sure this is really tight too so it doesn't move so that's tight and this one is already set it's the same thing you're gonna make sure everything's aligned just like that from here align see how bad this is then we're gonna start cutting let me tighten this one more then we're gonna start cutting I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut it but I'm gonna make it fast forward for this because I'm not really good at cutting this so right now I had this set on the lowest point lowest part that I want is this one so I'm gonna cut it real quick normally I'm gonna cut it I'll start from here all the way around going down here you don't want to start from the right then go to the left because it will get caught on you so but you know what I mean you'll see what I mean right, I'm gonna start cutting in I might fast forward a little bit remember I'm gonna show you this, if this is not tight, this is gonna move. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it starts moving. And I don't think it's fine in the other way, so I'm gonna go cut it aside. This is not as tight as I wanted, so let's go lift it up because it start moving. As you can see, it moved down here, so we might want to retight it some more. Go ahead, just start tightening this, and I'm gonna fast forward for you guys.
tree I'm gonna start grinding here going to the top and then if I want to pass through again go on the bottom again and go on top and here you want to stop once in a while to mesh to make sure everything is still aligned like this one this one did move which is good this one will better move because it's not gonna this is not moving the cutter side you want to make sure it's not moving so from here I'm gonna go ahead and start from the top to the right going down up once in a while because this one start lifting up my probe start go lifting up it's not the bottom side now so I'm gonna adjust it just a little bit okay that's why you have to pause once in a while to check your check your probe if it's level or not and go ahead measure Drop it. Okay, I'm tight. Okay, when you adjust it, then you need to pull it. Let's stop it. So when I readjusted that, this is kind of like went up. Because this one, um, this side loosened just a little bit. I'll show you. This one loosened a little bit. So, that, that's gonna be a common factor and so now I think I'm gonna adjust a little bit more going down let me see one more time then I might go back and repass that one because I might not have the same depth go ahead check this what does it look like this I can go ahead and remove this one okay. Okay, let's remove this real quick it's too really tight oh drop that one okay let's go ahead and check this out I don't think not too bad. So I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit here because it's not even before we flip this over. I'm gonna go ahead and um, make sure it's flat. If it's not flat here, it's not gonna be flat on that side. So make sure it's flat. Doesn't look too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this too. And then realign this one again. I don't move this one because that's that's in a good position now. So I'm gonna go ahead and realign this one one more time because we got two sides here that 
is here. And we tight. So we're gonna do the same process. I might not take the whole video of this one. I'm just gonna make it fast forward for this one. It'll be the same process with this. pretty good then let's go ahead and deburr this because it's not even the good thing with this if it didn't fit properly we can recut it again i'm not gonna move this if we need to recut it this is already in position i'm just gonna reposition this so let's go ahead test this one out hopefully it's hopefully it works perfectly so let's go ahead see if we'll open the door at least at first might need the deburring a little bit see that this one going let's go ahead deburr that just a little bit more I'm gonna deburr it shape it just a little bit more so it'll fit good so normally I'll do with this just Get this filer here, do the side, top, and same thing with these. And let's try it again. How oh, that fits in pretty good. Not too bad, I think I'm just gonna deburr it just more. It's not clean. See this edge here? It's not really clean. I can I can feel it. Let me go ahead um right here. See this right here? On the side. Let me show you real quick. This edge here is really rough, so I'm gonna sand that just a tad more. Right here. This side here is not smooth at all so 
And we're gonna go ahead and shave that really good. You can feel it. Because our, our blade is not as good if we have a good cutter, if it's more smoother. Because it's, this is not too fast. The RPM with that is not too fast. If it's fast enough, it will cut it more smoother. But we gotta deal with it. That's fine. As long as it cuts pretty good. See where that. You'll feel it. Same with the top side here. Try it again. Okay. Try it again. Put it in a shred in a in here. So maybe a little bit more debris. It goes in. Pretty tight. Need to divert just a tad bit more. Or do there you go, he goes in. See that? He goes in, of course it's not gonna start, it doesn't have a chip. But you need a little bit more deburring in it. Or you can pass through it one more time, make it a little bit more deeper if you like to. Let's let's see what we can do. Okay guys, so this one I didn't have to recut it again. I'm just gonna I just file it some more. Make it more rounded, as you can see. This one will, will go lock, unlock, lock, unlock. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. This one, Let's see, it goes in. It's too wide. I can't even see. Let's see. It goes in. It goes in pretty good. Just need a little more shaving, but one try the better. That's what you're gonna do. And see, turns on the car. This one just need to um to press the practice key that we have. So that is good. A couple tips with these. You can go a little more deeper. It's not gonna hurt it. You can go push a little bit more because this one, the the tracer, has a give. You move. I'll show you. See that? It's a little bit more movement there, right there. So you can go down a little bit more, and this will go. The cutter will go a little bit more deeper. So, and um, more passes, the better. Um, while on the first clamp that you have, leave it there. So with this one, this one is actually good. If you don't have that little, um, the clamp, the extra clamp that we have, this one here, this piece here, the adapter, this goes crooked, like really crooked. You notice this goes a little bit on the right side the whole cut here is a little bit to the right the reason of that because when you tight this one let me move this one when you tight this one this one move see this this is not straight when you tight it you only have one pin that goes here this one shake see that so this eliminate that and you get better cut so that's the tricks for you guys that's the tips that we have um this is very helpful make sure you tie it really good though that's the only key thing and you're gonna have a better cut it's better split. the more you practice 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 you get used to it my, normally when i do it my left hand is here to control it and my right hand is holding this side here without moving this knob and holding the whole the whole base too some of the base it's better if the whole machine you have is clamped on a table that's a lot better i'm gonna be planning doing that too and of course lubricate lubricate your guides on the bottom you have lubrication that from this piece here 
and underneath here. So if you lubricate it all the time, so I use a WD-40, that will help you to move it small. This one too, lubricate that. So I'll lubricate that one. It will be a lot more smoother. Um, I believe that's it, guys. Next time I'm gonna show you how what to use to to use this to cut a regular key, not this high security key. All right, I hope this is very helpful. If you have any question, let me know, guys, and um, I'll try to answer the question. Um, so this one is for our FU key cutting machine. Mango cutting machine is very great investment. Um, setup is the most important, setting it up. Make sure once you have set up once, finish cutting on one side, make sure that's what you want it. And then the flip side, of course, we're not perfect. We make mistake. If it doesn't, if it doesn't go perfectly, recut it again. Just don't move this one. Leave it alone until you've 100% done. Test it, test it, practice and practice. All right, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Till next time. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and we might have more video here guys thank you for watching guys until next time peace